already you stand. Hold on, before we start the video, YouTube, let's get that quality check right, bro. Yer. I mean, some hot dogs. Strongly agree. Strongly disagree. Somewhat agree. Somewhat disagree. I would agree. Disagree. I hate that every week I have to like inject my hormones. Like I get so angry that like cis people get it for free, I and know. like it's just natural. Yeah, like you got it in your body. Like I got it in a drawer. <laughs> what the fuck? Nigga, y'all just. Oh my god, just simple science, bro. What is this? Hold on, Jack. Bro, what is a cisgender, bro? <laughs> I don't even mean it in a funny way. Three, two, one. Like, I've dated cis people in the past, and like every time, like especially because like I'm a cis female at birth and non-binary, like if I'm dating like a man, he typically just sees me as a woman. Like I saw a tick. Duh. Duh, bro. This is YouTube called Blake, homie, bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I'm treating you like a girl, baby. I'm sorry. Like, I just gotta be the man, bro. Like, either way it go, it's just I'm the man in a relationship, and it can only be one. It can only be one person ruling the relationship. You're not gonna be my masculine energy. I'll tell you one thing about me. TikTok literally yesterday it was like have y'all ever been with a they them woman i was like that is so like like <laughs> no if you can't see me as non-binary i cannot be seen outside with you like with women that are sure like, gotta come off but like people like they perceive us as like a lesbian couple and that's not really like what i'm trying to do at my age boys kind of come into themselves and their desires and it's just weird because they either want one thing or another thing and usually like i'm subject to be fetishized like some guys will like come at me and like be like like yeah like you're like the best of both worlds and i'm like girl this is this is Damn. not Hannah montana like Damn. i am a girl i want to have like no nah, whoever said that reckless <laughs> bro what why would you think anybody would want to feel like that Mm -hmm. Like, how would you feel? Well, I guess they can't put their perspective in your reality deep enough. But a nigga like me who done been to shit is like, bro, you know the type of problem that co Damn, bro. <clears throat> nigga choking on a glizzy. Anyway, bro. What I'm trying to say is, bro, respect people's decisions, bro. You don't know what they life like. But nah, this transgender shit, I don't agree with. Because nigga, your XY chromosome. It's simple signs. But I respect it. Do you? Ain't none of my business. For me, like, I've normally only dated cis girls. I've been fetishized, like, probably a couple of times. Like, they say, oh, yeah, I'm bi. And then like, they, like, see me as, like, a girl or something. And it's, it's, it's so bizarre. But I've only recently ever, like, dated someone who's not cis. And they identify as non-binary. And that relationship taught me so much because I feel like I, they really saw me, like, for who I am. And, like, they were the most, yep. um, like, aware person. I've only been with one cis person and it was a girl and I feel like if anything girls are super understanding but I'm still open to a cis person like it depends on the person really like I'm not looking for a trans person I'm just looking for a good person you should be able to medically transition before three I disagree what did you miss you missed a question would I date a cisgender individual and usually, I'm going to summarize it for you. Basically, what they were saying was when they date cis people, they understand them. When they date straight people, they think that the cis person is straight, but the cis person is cis. So it don't work out. It'd be like clashes and stuff. And I was like, man, if you want the problem solved, just date cis people. It's that simple. I'm like, what? <laughs> A lot of us, we have realized that this is what's best for us, like, as kids. And it's all about your mental health and well-being. But also, that being said, I think it's also important that this is what you really want because it's going to be a life-changing decision. And behind that, there should all be right, a lot of know. evaluations and a lot of affirmations. 
That's basically what I was gonna yeah, say. It's like, <laughs> it depends where you're at. You have to be at a certain place and like make sure like you're really ready, but I do think. Bro, I ain't gonna lie. Do a little hair is cringe, bro. <laughs> and you look like you sweat a lot, bro. <laughs> You agree with him? Yeah, I do too. You still wait till you're an adult. I ain't gonna lie. Doing it as a kid is crazy. I think it would help so much. Nigga, I wanted to be... What did I want to be a kid that was so fucked up? Nigga, I wanted to be a playboy run in a playboy mansion. Nigga. You know how fucked up that is? Any trans kids' mental health if they were able to transition before 18. I'm dying to get on hormones, and I do agree that kids like should be able to get like hormones and go through HRT. But like, there's also like a little part of me that's like, what if they end up changing their mind? Like when I was 13, I thought I was. Nigga, <laughs> what? You know, a kid making that big of a decision? Oh, Eve. Oh, Eve. What has this world come to, bro? <laughs> bro, it's just a kid. Let it be a kid. No? I don't know, man. Have they proven that? Uh, I can't say that, man. But for the people who wanted to know what I was going to say, if you don't want to, just skip like 10 seconds ahead. I think transgender people have a mental disorder. Said it. And if you skip 10 seconds ahead, welcome back, man. You didn't miss too much, you know? I don't know. They should be on strongly agree. That's how I feel. I was a trans man. And then I was like, nah. <laughs> and then I was like, wait. <laughs> so it was like, for me, it was just like a lot of like questioning and going through different identities until I found what felt right. And like at the point I'm at right now, like, I don't even know if I want to go on like HRT. So if I would have went on that when I was like 13. HRT sound like a scat back. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck they're talking about. They're talking about injections. Like a testosterone and shit. A PCT. I don't know. I, I don't think I would have regretted it. But it was like I'm glad that I like internalized a lot of it and like went through it within myself. I think as long as we educate children on yeah. like the risk on transitioning very young, like medically transitioning very young, and then they're educated on the process, I, I think children should be able to choose whether or not they want to I mean, transition. we do got a smarter approach. I still think that's stupid. Nigga, even though I was taught about safe sex, nigga, I still did it unsafe. <laughs> like, it doesn't stick with everybody. Everybody don't learn like that. <laughs> what? Are you young Don? I'm not young Don, bro. What? I don't even, I don't, I'm not even, I don't even see the world in his perspective, man. I got my own perspective, bro. You know, young Don be talking crazy sometimes, bro. My teachers are accepting of my pronouns. Uh, I'll be like, it's a mix. Yeah, it's a mix. I went to UCI is for it? a quarter. Nah, it's, they usually agree. Bro, why are they changing? Bro, I had it right. These niggas want to switch up when they see other people. They need to make it a rule. Well, your first step is the right step. Like, can we all agree on that? <laughs> nigga, let's go. Nigga, ain't no fucking way they just... Nigga, ain't no way they... Nigga, hold on, nigga. For catch this bit frame by frame, when they go. All right, how they go from this? Look how dispersed this is. Some would disagree, disagree. Usually, okay. For the most part, they agree. But then, watch this chat. Nah, this shit crazy. Nah, bitch. Yeah, how I go to this, there. nigga? Chat, how I go to that? Chat. How I go to this? Nigga, how the fuck? Nigga, how, what the fuck? I, this nigga, I, fuck this nigga. Fuck this nigga, bro. Fuck this nigga and fuck this nigga too. Bro. Oh wait, 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 wait. Fuck they. Fuck them. Fuck them. Fuck them. And they were very Yo, understanding and like they don't really, like ask questions. But in high school, it was definitely a struggle. Can I play like it again? Are you watching? Are you paying attention? This for you in the back. Yeah, I know. Wake your ass up. <laughs> My teachers are accepting of my pronouns.
I went to UCI for a quarter and they were very understanding and like they don't really like ask questions. But in high school, it was definitely a struggle because like my name was a different name on the roster and then like I would have to explain. Especially like my Spanish teacher, she had like such like Catholic beliefs and like she would pull me aside and like ask questions and it was really sweet of her to like try to understand but it was also hard for them to like remember like in class and stuff like that so it was kind of a struggle. I'm honestly- God damn. Is it, that's tough, bro. Bro, it's a new breed of human. It's a new species, nigga. Bro, this is confusing, bro. <laughs> Why is it? They didn't even change the answers. Bro, yes, they did, bro. They're not fucking themselves up. Oh, my goodness, bro. It's getting heated in the chat. It's good heating the chat. Let's keep on watching, really man. I'm thankful that they really did try to find a way to, like, make trans people feel a bit more comfortable in the school. Like right now, I'm taking like a ballet and Pilates class and I totally thought it was gonna be, a, oh, but you, you were like born male, so you have to do like masculine presenting stuff, which I was like really afraid of, but I'm so glad that they're like really accepting. I go to UC Berkeley right now. Bro, that sound like a sad way to live, chat. I don't know, that sound like, that sound worse than EDP situation, chat. What I'm, I, what I feel like is, bro, and it's kind of what Viz says. I'm just touch it up a little bit more. I don't care what you do. It ain't got nothing to do with me. I'm going to respect you regardless. Like, okay. But I can still think your decision is stupid. I can still think your mindset is... I, just, I can just not agree with it. I could play that role. Like, <laughs> ain't nothing wrong with that. Like, it's okay to have an opinion on something. Like, none of, none of this is factual but science. Because that's what we count as facts. And if we count that as facts, then, nigga, it's facts that... <laughs> Or maybe science just hasn't developed enough to see it yet. Okay, we could go with that, that route too. That's where the respect comes from. I'm like, okay, nigga. Like, yeah, we can respect it, but for right now, you're wrong. Like, when it comes to sound like you don't make sense. I ain't gonna say you're wrong. Wrong is the wrong word, is the bad word to interpret it in. I say you. it just doesn't make sense to us yet based off what we know. How is it transphobic if it's just, he, he didn't say he, transphobic is you hate people. Like, you hate cis people like you want to do harm upon them like you're you're treating them like the, like the nazis treated and frank my nigga like no <laughs> that's hate bro he he doesn't hate them he just disagrees with them and i get misgendered there like on a daily basis like i will introduce myself to the teacher and i'll be like i go by they them pronouns by the way i'm non-binary like please respect my pronouns and like within two times like that i'm in the classroom they'll go back to using she her pronouns and like other classmates will also misgender me and it gets just really mentally taxing at a point and so i kind of just like stop trying as much because like it's just mentally exhausting having to realize like no one sees you as non-binary because you still have like feminine qualities about yourself. I have come out more than one. I mean, that's just what people see, bro. I mean, this is some new type of shit. Like y'all coming out like this. This is new to the generations, even the old ones. Like it's gonna be hard, bro. And we still dealing with slavery. It's gonna take some time. How long? Who knows? Three, two, one. I've come out multiple times, like not just like for my like trans experience, but for like my sexuality as well. Cause I came out as like pansexual, then I came out as bi, and then I was just mm. came out as non-binary before I came god, out as trans. Damn. I'm like, oh my god, like how many? When are we gonna get it right, y'all? Like, yeah, same. I think I went through like four or five different sexualities, and then I was like, wait. <laughs> and then I just feel like presenting more androgynous. It is another reason why kids shouldn't do this. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> this seems like a common factor. <laughs> kids shouldn't. Kids shouldn't get genetic. Bro, no. Kids should not get put on hormones as a kid. This is the struggle of like coming out every day and being like, hey, like I know I, I look this way, but this is like what I am. This is how I feel. And like, you can respect it or not, like honestly. And it's just, I feel like it's just, it's gonna be forever. I kind of feel like I have to come out like every single day, just like with new people I meet in my life. Like I'm constantly having to be like, oh yeah, I'm, my name's Mandy, I'm non-binary, I go by they, them pronouns, please respect those pronouns or this is not like a safe space for me. I get the like telling people on like a daily basis, like anyone you meet, like I- Bro, I know they be duking it out with the old heads, nigga. I already know. 
That's literally the bare minimum, bro. Just have, treat them with respect. Bro, duh, treat them with respect, nigga. That's the, bro, why would you treat, would you want to be treated with disrespect? Just because you disagree with somebody don't mean you should just disrespect them, bro. No. That's not cool, though. Bro, this nigga everything is clean. Or, I was right. Wait, is that a girl who got a beard? Ah, uh, here go the confusion. <laughs> Shit. I want people to know immediately that I'm trans because I don't want to bring it up later on and have it be an issue with them. I feel like I only came out once because after the first time, I kind of made it visible and I didn't want to talk about it. I didn't want to have to come out again. And I thankfully had very supportive people in my life that like I could have came out to again, um, but I felt a lot more comfortable just kind of like living my life and having people just like accept what I'm doing with my life without you know, coming out again. Cisgender individuals do not understand my struggles. <clears throat> what do you mean by that? Cisgender individuals are like them, right? Aren't they the cisgender individuals? To what do they think? Personally, my friends try to empathize, and I really appreciate that for them. But personally, I think that cis people take for granted you know their gender euphoria getting ready in the morning and looking at yourself and having the absence of distress like when i get up and i get ready and i look at myself physically like i'm distressed like i don't look like the person i was just dreaming i was you know Damn. like i've known people <laughs> that's tough i mean you chose this battle it's as simple as that you chose this path you knew the consequences. You knew what it was going to be when you signed up. Saying you didn't ask for this, well, you can always go down a different path. You just won't be as happy, okay? Can say that. But still, you get, you reap what you saw. Or is that a part of the game? Would kind of be like transphobic towards me, and then after a few years, they start transitioning, and they're like, oh, I understand now. And like, it wasn't until they were going through it and really felt the pain of it that they were able to understand. I try to think of just like the whole entire spectrum of just like cis people who are like identifying female, but for some reason their bodies present more masculine. I feel like they can have that sort of point of view that can help them sympathize and empathize for you more. It's all about like the spectrum and just how, there's just so many nuances. <laughs> For real? For real? For real? For real? I want to hear what the disagrees got to say. A person of color. If it wasn't non-binary, it would be a woman. So like, life is not going to be easy for me. And I just feel like that it wouldn't be the same, but it wouldn't be necessarily easier. I mean, I agree with what you're saying about being a person of color and being queer. But, you know, like... Like, I've been through so much horrible shit, and like, personally, like, my life would be easier if I was cis. I mean, a defining part of who I am is definitely being trans, but every day I do wonder, you know, what if I was actually born a, a cis, like, female, you know? Yeah, I hate that I still think a lot of the time, like, I wonder what life would be like if I was cis, or I kind of wish I was cis. Like, like, I know I wouldn't be where I am, and I wouldn't know almost anyone in my life if I wasn't trans, and if I didn't go through the struggles I went through. I hate that every week I have to, like, inject my hormones. Like, I get so angry that, like, cis people get it. And bro. I feel you. Yeah, it does suck. But it's like, what else could you do? I mean, that's how you get what you want, right? You have to do that if you want that outcome. And it's like, yeah, you can regret not being a girl or the dinner you want to be, but this is just one of the outcomes of life. Everybody, everybody got a burden to bear. Everybody. It's either you're poor, you know, you were used as 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 an object when you were a kid. You know what that means. 
Sick motherfuckers. Now everybody got everybody got their burden to bear, man. Your life ain't perfect. For free. And like it's just For natural. Oh my God. And I'm like, and there's there's times where my insurance is being like annoying and I can't get yeah, my like, hormones. You got it in your body, like I got it in a drawer. <laughs> yeah, like it, it's really, really hard and like breaks me down, but I know that I wouldn't be who I am if I wasn't trans. Yeah, just like bouncing off that, just the thought of like waking up and not having dysphoria yeah. about something and like not trying on like 15 different shirts because my chest oh my doesn't God. look flat enough or yeah. like just stuff like that. I think it, it would genuinely make my life easier. But again, it's like I wouldn't meet the people that I have in my life and I'm so grateful for them. And I look, they're clapping it up. And they're clapping it up, chat. And they're clapping it up, chat. Chat, man. I know we have some disagreements on it, man. Not even disagreements. Different point of views, man. But it all comes back around and make one full circle, don't it?